after a couple of off-course excursions with that machine an hour or two ago. Derek Daly, Derek Bell, take us for a ride around this eight-mile racetrack with Wayne Taylor. What we'll do is boost the audio to try and give you a good idea of the engine gear changes also. This is the first chicane, then over the top of the hill. And this is where we actually used to nearly get airborne on the old circuit. Down into the Dunlop Coves, you go down two gears through the left hand and Dunlop through the right hand. A very rough as you come through there, and the tail often pops out over that brow down into Tert Rouge, which leads us onto the Mulsanne Strait. Very important corner here because this is the launching pad down this long Mulsanne Strait. Not as long as it used to be, but you can still get an idea. They go 220 miles an hour still, despite the fact that they have two chicanes. And Derek, when we go through the chicanes, you'll see they're actually very, very bumpy. Yes, I mean, he's pulling 220 miles an hour now. Absolutely now, going past Les Genodia, the famous restaurant, braking very severely, pulling something like up to 3G, down to third gear, through the right, through the left. I just detest these chicanes, but it does make it safer. And then as he comes out up to fourth gear, fifth, sixth, as he sweeps by, look, I think one of the panels is, oh, no, he's not going to get by because the guy bulked him with the Porsche. Lovely, that's just what you need. <laughs> and break, and then, of course, we'll get up to two. That's right, You're he's telling one. him it's nearly two o'clock. <laughs> and as he comes down into the second chicane, Derek. And again, very bumpy. Now, this one goes off to the left-hand side. But can you imagine if there was no chicanes, how long this Molson Strait was for year, in years past following the Painos again? And here he comes out of here. He's getting normally would be on the left side of the road to take this corner at 240 miles an hour. That's the Mulsanne Kink, the very famous. And here we are coming to the brow that we've had the instance on the last two years, which has been shaved off down into Mulsanne Corner. Quite a difficult corner, actually, Derek. Breaking zone, peels off to the right here. A little bit of tarmac added here. Second gear right-hander. We're now at the far end of the racetrack. Now we blast, and this begins to go downhill, down. This is where the Mercedes did the black backflip last year. But this is the run down to where the next corner is. This is the run down to Indianapolis. Yes, and you're coming down here at 190 to 200 miles an hour. As you go, that brow of the car moves around a little bit as you get it stable. Down into this one, you only break at 100 meters coming to that corner. D down a gear, accelerate, down another gear, through the left hand of Indianapolis, tail inclined to want to go out, then down to one of the slowest corners on the circuit, Arnage. As soon as you exit here, the drag race starts again. Another 200 mile an hour run to the Porsche curves. And they are very fast, very difficult, and taken in fourth gear. You can just imagine what this was like in the rain in the last 24 hours. This, of course, is a new section of the circuit. The Porsche curves came in in the uh, mid-70s. And you try to get the car well to the left here, keep it over to the right. You don't want it to go out too wide around here. You've got to keep it into that right-hand verge. Watch the camber here. Keep it well to the left because the car wants to slide out on the tail. And then we squirt back on the section towards the pits. And this next Ford chicane is where we've seen most of the cars go off over the last two or three hours. The braking zone right here. In fact, Wayne Taylor himself dumped himself on the gravel trap on the right-hand side, right there on the right side. End of the lap, eight long, bumpy miles. And if you do it properly, you do it in about three and a half minutes, give or take, 340, perhaps under race conditions here. So Taylor 